You know, the unique thing about a wobble head like this is that you don't have to go with a crawdad style bait. It works very well on a, a big ribbon tail worm and be effective. You know, fish it like a worm or wind it like it's designed for. You know, you can have that bait to where you fish it like a crankbait or just fish it like a, a standard worm or football jig. So I'm gonna try the big worm, rigged it up, that right there, black and blue, just to see, see if something changes and try and get a bite. You know, here at Back Rack, they, the fish like a little bit bulkier bait. This big curl tail is, is really a, a big Sanko with a curl tail on it instead of just a straight tail. So I'll try it two different ways. I'll try fishing it just like you would a worm or a jig. And then I might try fishing it like a wobblehead where you swim it a little bit, you know, on the bottom. Just the slope one's got it right there. First cast with it. It didn't take long. Oh, there it goes. Not bad. First one with the, the big curl tail. So one thing I do when I'm fishing a wobble head is I actually barely go in the head of that bait before I poke that out. The reason for that is that when you turn it around to do the, the actual Texas rig on it is that I want the eye of that hook in there to be free flowing. You, know, you don't want to rig it on there too far to where it goes around. It actually eliminates the, the wobble part of it. So barely go through when you start the, the Texas rig part of that and it allows that eye to be sticking out of the bait to let it flow free like, a, like it should. I fished it like a worm you know, where you're actually lifting and dropping it. But the original design of that wobble head is it's basically a slow crankbait. You, know, you put a bait on there that has some action to it and then you cast it and wind it and you let that head grovel in the rocks. You know, when you're winding it, that head is staying in the, you know, on the bottom. And because it has that swing head to it, you know, it, it can sit there and click around the rocks and that bait will be kind of moving back and forth, almost like, oh, got it. First one where I decide to fish it on the bottom. That's what's so nice and, you know, makes this bait versatile is that I can wind it on the bottom like that, the, the way it was originally designed, or fish it just like a worm. Uh, just on your retrieve, you know, to essentially turn it, in, turn it into almost a crankbait. You can fish it like a worm or you can turn it into a crankbait at the same time. Healthy fish. So if you don't do that, if, if you run it like you would a normal Texas rig, that worm is gonna be up and over the eye, which is gonna impede the action. It's gonna stop it from, from doing this. You want it to be just, you want the eye of the hook to be outside of the worm so that it can be free and have that action to it. But see right there, at the end of this point, it's not, plus I have my line's out like this and then it goes down. So it takes a second for my line to settle to where I can start. Oh, it's got it right there. On the curl tail, 